habari zenu wanafunzi mimi ni Hamdi na leo nitazungumza kuhusu course yangu uh, hello students uh, welcome to my course and today i will talk about my beautiful course of swahili all right so this course basically is uh, teaching you uh, basic swahili greetings basic swahili words you know, which are very helpful when you travel especially for business people Now, in this uh, uh, course, I have included lectures in form of videos. I have included uh, presentations in the form of PDFs. I have included presentation in the form in the form of PowerPoint. So they are very helpful. It's a mixture. Uh, you will find conversations between me and some of my students. One of them is called Aisha. All right. Uh, it's a very funny video, but uh, for you to smile, you know. It, makes you uh, learn better so i'm a native swahili teacher i come from mombasa this is the beautiful city of mombasa as you can see we are surrounded by coconut trees as you can see our our houses are quite small okay, you cannot find skyscrapers here in mombasa kenya and the sky is beautiful you know, it's clear Right now it's in the evening, that's why the sun is a little bit uh, not very bright. But if you come back here at around 12 p.m., it's very bright. Right? So I'm a very friendly teacher, you know. I've been teaching online on eToki, on other websites uh, for many years. For the last uh, three years, I've taught students from different countries, from United States, from United Kingdom, from Italy, from Europe, many other parts of uh, Europe. So Swahili is, is spoken by uh, people around East Africa, you know, from people mainly from Uganda, from Kenya, and Tanzania. So, so in Tanzania, Swahili is the official language, and the majority of the people, they speak Swahili, but they can also speak in English. But it's better that when you travel to these countries, uh, you don't show that uh, you don't know anything about Swahili. At least you understand, or you can speak a few words, you know, one, two. So this lecture will teach you that, you know, do not take a lot of your time. I've made these videos very short, you know, two to three minutes uh, each uh, lecture, so that uh, I give you the points, you know, so you can watch these videos while you're traveling to work on the bus or uh, while you have your coffee time, when you have your coffee or your coffee break, uh, while you're having your snacks, you can grab a few Swahili words that will help you, you know, when you travel, when you have a friend from East Africa. So this video, uh, many students of mine were looking forward uh, to have videos that can help them uh, can become as a form of a review uh, during their free time right? so i decided to make videos uh, so that they can remember what we learn during our lessons uh, so it can be very helpful you know? so i hope you enjoy listening and watching to my uh, my videos i made them in the form of conversations with different students i made them in form of uh, pdfs for lessons like uh, greetings, for lessons like uh, personal pronouns, uh, noun classes, these I have to I do some explanation. So I have to uh, show you the PDF slides while I do some explanation. And for those that uh, are taught well by conversation, while well, you see people talking, while well, you see two people exchanging words, uh, those uh, lessons, I've made them in the form of uh, conversations, right? So, I hope you enjoy, you know. So, uh, one more thing I would like to mention is about the flashcards, right? So, I have incorporated the use of flashcards in my course so that my students can be able to memorize the difficult nouns and verbs. Now, the flashcard is automated in a way that you can select the uh, words that are difficult 
and the ones that are easy. So the ones that are easy, the flashcard system will not uh, show them uh, more frequent. All right. Mm -hmm. So Asanteni Sana, thank you, and I hope you have a nice time uh, in my course. Asanteni Nakwehere. <laughs>